Hey everybody. Hi, I'm Deb. I'm Joel. And we are chasing our sunshine. And we are in the Bar Harbor, Maine area. Oh my God, we're so excited to be in Maine and we're so glad that you're coming along on this journey with us. We're gonna see what we can find fun to do. We are, um, today we're gonna be heading to the Bar Harbor area and we're gonna go over a possible land bridge. Yeah, over to Bar Island. Yeah, the land bridge only opens for a short time period each day. So we're gonna head over there and then hike the island. And then afterwards, we're hoping to maybe get a blueberry beer along with- A lobster roll for sure. Yeah, um, and maybe not in that exact order. No. Uh, but we might, we're definitely looking for that lobster roll again. So let's go see what fun things we can do today. Thanks for joining us. a little levee here after the water went out we've got uh, until the next high tide comes in to get off the island otherwise it's nine hours before the next low tide and 150 dollars for emergency boat to come out and get you i'm sure that's just the base fee and i'm sure there's more fees on that but we are just across the land bridge um, heading to bar island uh, here in Bar Harbor, Maine. So it's about a two mile hike that we're gonna do um, that includes walking across this. This land bridge is only open an hour and a half before low tide and an hour and a half after. Uh, if you get stuck out there, it's another nine hours um, that you gotta stay out there or you can pay a fee uh, and a fine for a boat to come rescue you. Well, I think you could probably swim too if you wanted to. Yeah, it's a little cold. And a, little a little cold, but it's not that far. So we're gonna enjoy this hike and this is pretty cool and something definitely to see. It was neat watching the water. Um, like we got here and it was completely blocked and. Uh, it slowly went out and now we're crossing and we're gonna hike the island. Let's not get caught. <laughs> well, pretty cool view from here. It's even in front of a little heights thing, so I'm doing is. pretty well. On the island, there's actually a former private residence that was an old farm for over a hundred years here on the island, and it was the Roddick family. A private citizen um, that was a news reporter actually bought it and lived here also for 15 years. There's just remnants of it now. However, it's pretty cool to see. Absolutely scenic from here. And it, property was sold in 2003 to the National Park, and the 12 acres here actually became a part of the National Park on Bar Island. So it's definitely worth a little trip down the path to come see this viewpoint. I can't even imagine what it looked like when it was the full house and living here on the island like this. The thing that would suck is that you only could leave during certain times of day because you gotta pay attention to the tide. The first ever wood-fired pizza in Bar Harbor was cooked right here in this fireplace on Bar Island. Once again, not a proven fact, history by chasing our sunshine. Well, we just finished our hike over on Bar Island. Well, we made it with plenty of time and it's absolutely amazing to see how much the water recedes and the land bridge actually opens up compared to when we first got here. The hike itself is free, but you do need to make sure you have a National Park Pass because that right at the entrance there it said you need to have one on you, so make sure you have that. Yeah, and it's uh, apparently a very popular hike as this place is absolutely crowded and it is a Tuesday afternoon. It's supposedly getting to be peak fall season, so I'm sure there's people out looking for the leaves. All right, and I would say that this is definitely a unique thing to do. Um, and if you're in the Bar Harbor area, put it on your list and don't get stuck over on the island. Definitely don't get stuck on the island. 
<laughs> so there's parking right along the street. Make sure that you do bring quarters as they're quarter machines. And it was about a dollar uh, for an hour of parking. I think we threw three bucks in just in case, but there is nice parking. Definitely worth doing. Two it was $2 an hour for the parking. Oh, and we forgot to mention, we got some honeymooners along with us. Look at them. My friend Scott and Andrea, you might have seen them in another video when we were in Port Mansfield. Uh, if you want to see that video, take a, we'll leave a link up here and in the description below to that. We're in Maine having fun with the honeymooners. Time for food and beer. Yep. I think we're going to try to get a blueberry beer. Hi, hello. Try another lobster roll. We're at Jordan's Restaurant and we both ordered lobster rolls. These ones come with mayonnaise on them and lettuce. So this is a little bit different than what we had in Portland. So we'll see what we like better. This one is in Bar Harbor. Oh, and we just got our clam chowder. Pretty sure you guys say like chowder. 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 Hey. That's good. <laughs> now we're talking about a lot. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think I like it with the mayonnaise better. Mayo, whatever it is. I like that better. Lunch at Jordan's restaurant, um, I would say, is something very unique also to see here in Bar Harbor, Maine. Yeah, the kitchen staff works really hard. It's uh, kind of like a Waffle House atmosphere. The waitresses yell in orders at them and they just take it down in their head and make it. Yeah, it's a really neat little uh, diner. Um, the lobster rolls uh, were a little bigger than the ones we had before and a little more expensive. Yes, this, they, they, these here were the, uh, the mayonnaise type and not the drawn butter, uh, but very good. And uh, yeah, like Deb said, they were a little more expensive, like uh, almost twice as expensive, but yeah. uh, well worth it. Yeah, guess that's something you just gotta do while you're in Bar Harbor, Maine. When in Maine. Yep, check out Jordan's Restaurant. And uh, they're also famous for their blueberry pancakes, but it's lunchtime, so we weren't in the pancake mood. But maybe we'll try them. So, on to the next. Whew. Walking around in the downtown uh, business area for Bar Harbor is kind of insane. Very busy today. Uh, it's a Tuesday afternoon and it is literally elbow to elbow people here. A little overwhelming and uh, that means that we're definitely gonna have to find a beer. And for Corey it might even be a blueberry beer. Blueberry. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. We're not really big fruity beer drinkers yeah. but for all of you, we're gonna try one out because we're in Maine and it's something you're supposed to do. Blueberry beer, here we come. this in honor of uh, my buddy and former co-worker Corey. Here, cheers Corey. I'm still not a fan. Actually. Of the beer. I'm actually not minding it. it smells blueberry but um, it doesn't taste that blueberry to me. You got the burps. Yep. From the blueberry beer. <laughs> the blueberry ale at the Atlantic Brewing Company. Very unique. I'm not saying I'd have another one though. I thought I came out of that. It is, oh, dark 30. Yes, it is. It is five minutes to five. And we're on our way to go pick up our friends, Scott and Andrea. And then we are going to go up and take the Cadillac Mountain Drive to the top 
to catch sunrise. This is a bucket list thing for me, and I'm not even a morning person, but I'm awake and I'm so excited right now to do this. It's so one time she's been five minutes early. <laughs> I like, I cannot wait for this. I hope it turns out. We're gonna drive, we're gonna go pick up our friends, and we're gonna bring you all along. Luckily, you don't have to get up. Um, <laughs> we're doing it for you. So. We'll go see what it looks like. Yeah, we can't wait. It is uh, 43 degrees right now, so. Yeah, so not as bad as what it was supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 32, but I have a feeling when we get to the top, it's supposed to be a little windy and it's probably gonna be colder up there. So let's we'll find go. out, gotta go. It's super windy up here. The camera's already blown over once, but it's like T minus 10 minutes. We even have donuts to celebrate. Cheers! And we got coffee with too. It's needed. A little windy up here on top of Cadillac Mountain. It is. Um, but it's gonna, I said it's kind of rainy, cloudy, so we're not really sure what we're gonna get, but this is still super cool. Lots of people. <laughs> yeah, it was a little cloudy, so we got to see a glimpse of it, but it was uh, still worth being up here. It was. It was absolutely gorgeous, even with, uh, we did get the rain down a little bit, but the sunrise did peek through the clouds and we did see it. Um, we had coffee, we had um, some powdered donuts. And friends. And our friends are with. Um, it is windy up here, um, so even though it's like almost 50 degrees out, it did get chilly. Um, we did bring blankets, um, which helped, and just sat, enjoyed, and now we're going to see what other adventures we can find to do today. Maybe a hike. Maybe. So I don't know why they call it the ocean path, since we're going uphill away from the ocean. I think you'll see it a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. You came down on a cliff. Well, I'm a ways away and there's water below, so that's all right. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's a lesson in the fall. So he comes down here to this cliff or whatever. I just want to make it perfectly clear. This is not a death defying day with Deb. He did this all on his own. And I'll agree with her because it's nice gradual slope to the cliff and then there's water, so, you know, chance of survival. This is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. We are at the infamous Thunder Hole. Unfortunately, we're here at the wrong time um, when the 40-foot waves are supposed to come crashing into this is about two hours uh, before high tide and we're here like at 7 30 in the morning so we're at low tide probably yeah. um, but it's still absolutely gorgeous i don't know if we're gonna make it back here to actually see but uh we for the full it, thing we, we might, might do it, do it another, another day. day but this is gorgeous with the waves and even crashing right here sign says big waves come along with storms and without warning and have washed people out to sea. So, this is a death-defying day with them. It is not. Right here, it says so. There you go. <laughs> wow, you're looking over? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. 
So we walked, I think it was about a mile and a half yep. down to the cliffs, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous down here. It's an easy path along. We took off from Sand Beach. Now you could drive up here and there's parking lots at like the Thunder Hole and at the cliffs here, but uh, the walk along the ocean is well worth it. You can stop at the various spots and do your out. own overlooks yep. on established paths, please. Uh, even though the path itself walks up by the road a few times, but it's very beautiful and highly recommend this path. Yes, and it's nice and easy, so, uh, but we're going to head back and then we're going to go get some breakfast. breakfast. We're starving now. We've worked up an appetite. Scott wants waffles. <laughs> I want blueberry pancakes. That's what they're known for around here. Oh, good. No, it's just variety, especially the leaves right now. Yeah. Having some blueberry pancakes. So we went back to Jordan's to have their famous pancakes and breakfast. The breakfast overall was good, but the blueberry pancakes are eh, kind of me. Eh. I didn't have them, so. We had a couple bites. Well, that, not enough to judge. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say they're anything special, but that's just my opinion. And just letting you know. Corned beef hash was awesome. Yeah, I said the rest of it was pretty good, but just to let you know, the blueberry pancakes that they're world famous for, eh. All right. All right. This is where we're parting ways with the boys. They're gonna go that way, and we're gonna go this way, so that we can actually. You keep saying we, but I. Don't do it, well, we'll see. Uh, we're just watching people climbing up there right now. It looks like a challenge. Oh, look at you stepping across. No way. <laughs> How do you want to go that high? I mean, doing anything stupid. What? Do Love you. Follow the blue marks. All right. Girl we, power. We got this. We got this. As you're climbing, and it literally is a climb, there's these blue markers that you follow to keep on the trail. The worst part is the bugs, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> wow, there's no way that Joel could have done this. Luckily, Andrea's li living a death-defying day with Deb in this place. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah, no, neither one of us are afraid of heights. It's not the height thing that makes it hard. This is climbing. I'm out of breath um, and a sweaty mess, but Oh my God, this is gonna be so worth it. The views just climbing were, are amazing. If you're not afraid of heights, definitely do this. We did it! Did it. <laughs> they did ask us if our life insurance policies were up to date. <laughs> they didn't need it. But I Joel managed to do the bowl. Uh, hike and I did the beehive and it was absolutely gorgeous Definitely don't do the beehive if you're afraid of heights and You need to be in semi good shape. I realize I'm not in that good of shape uh, It was all climbing so The bull takes you around and meets it at the top of the beehive So you get to see the same sights from up top without the fear of heights. Yeah, I would say also Plus, make... it, plus it was in the shade. Yeah um, and I would try to do it on a weekday, not on a weekend. It's already really packed in here on a weekday. And um, other than that, I have no other tips. Wear good shoes. And survive. And we're down at the bottom. The very first part of it, uh, leaving this 
the very first part of it heading up is very rocky and uneven and uh, kind of gets bottlenecked there but it's doable just take your time and go steady yep and i would definitely say too besides being afraid of heights i would not take kids on that trail either um, the rungs are kind of far apart and it'd be hard for little ones to reach andrea's 5'3 i'm 5'4 neither one of us had issues but i would say anything a little smaller than that you might have issues kids can go up the bowl way and make it to the top just without an issue yeah and dogs can go that way too dogs cannot do the rungs so you <laughs> right too, you made it too. Yeah, so, but I said, it's definitely something that you need to pre-plan and think about before doing. Be safe. Have fun. Yeah, and most importantly, have fun. It's all good to be here. Well, we hope you enjoyed our time here at Bar Harbor, Maine. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, and ring the bell so you can get notified when our next video is out. And also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That helps our channel and let us know what you're up to in the comments below. And we're going to roll those bloopers now as... You know we always have them. This used to be called Lone Tree Overlook. I don't know what it's called now since the Lone Tree died. Oh, Rotten Tree Overlook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go touch them. Good, good touch the Once again, history by chasing our sunshine, not based on any known facts or real events. All over from the wind. <laughs> yes, there are. What was what were we told about this time of year coming here? Uh, it's either people on their honeymoon or the people close to the grave. <laughs> Thanks for coming along on our journey to be chasing our sunshine. Remember, life is about moments and not things, and you can always create your own sunshine and find us chasing it in our RV.